Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to enable the web server on the Avaya ERS8800 system. Enabling the web server allows you to administer the ERS8800 via a web browser. You must enable the web server interface before you can connect to the system using Enterprise Device Manager. The web server secure only option forces a secure HTTPS connection. For security purposes, the secure only option is enabled by default. You must disable the secure only option to use a standard HTTP connection. In our example, we'll configure a standard HTTP connection, however, Avaya recommends using a secure connection. In our tech tip example, we will use the following steps to enable the web server on the ERS8800. We'll log into the system with read write all privileges using our RWA user account and RWA password. We'll enable the web server on the ERS8800 system using the web server enable command. We'll configure the username and password for read write all web server access privileges. We'll configure the web server to allow standard HTTP connections using the secure only disable command. We'll verify our web server configuration changes with the show web server info command. And finally, we'll save our web server configuration changes with the save config command. In our example, we'll log into the console with the read write all user account and read write all password. Now we'll enable the web server with the config web server enable command. Next we'll configure the username and password for our web server. We'll assign read write all privileges for the username admin and use the word password as our login password for the admin account. Next we'll configure the web server to allow standard HTTP connections by turning off the secure only option using the secure only disable command. Now let's verify our configuration settings with the show web server info command. From the screen output, we can verify the web server status is on, secure only mode has been disabled, and the username and password have been set for the web server. Finally, we'll save our configuration settings with the save config command. As you can see, enabling the web server on the Avaya ERS8800 is a quick and easy process. You must enable the web service before attempting to administer the Avaya ERS8800 with Enterprise Device Manager. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.